Now, the overview of this course, and I want to say this, the reason why we created this course is to give powers to business owner. In the world of online business, the online, nobody can deny the fact that online is the new marketplace. Okay? So what it means is every business is, has to have an online representation. Now, most businesses are forced to get a web developer or a web design company to create their website and sometimes you really don't get what you want so why we created this training so that web um, business owner can create their own website not only will they be able to create their own website they'll be able to manage their website and most importantly they are able to save cost now being able to create your own website gives you the freedom to do whatever you like on your website without any restriction and you obviously will do that which will bring more sales to you. So now, what will you gain from this training or what will you learn? You gain the skill to create a fully functional website using WordPress. You gain knowledge on the essential element that makes up a business website and apply it to any number of business sites that you can create. And I must tell you this, learning this makes you a web developer. What it means is you could have friends that are also doing business and you make money from creating websites for them. You know what I mean. So apart from that, you gain the knowledge and the skill of selling your product, services online and collecting payment directly through your website. So we're going to learn how to integrate your website with a payment gateway so that when you integrate, when clients or customers pay on your platform, the money goes straight into your account. Then also you gain skill how to set up an automated system on your website that will help you to cap to generate and capture lead for your business. And I'm sure every business needs this. Then we should attend this training. Um, if you're an existing or a new and existing business owner, you're an advisor to small and business, small, medium and fast growing enterprise. If you're a business developer, a marketing executive, if you're an individual seeking from home opportunity, an online marketer, uh, anyone who wants to earn income by providing website design service to businesses. So now the class is about to start and I want you to do this. It's a long video and I will want you to put your phone on silent so that you don't get distracted. You can always check the course later. Just learn the skill. For, it's a step-by-step -step lesson. Just learn the skills and get better. Then you should go away from places where you could get distracted. So... Let's go to the next video and let's get started with this training. Thank you. Hello. Yeah, in this video, you'll be learning how the web works. Now, this diagram gives you a little idea on how the web works. So I have to tell you how the web works so that it will be easy for you to understand as we go on with the, the training on how to develop website for your company. Now, this is your web browser. It could be your phone, your Chrome, your Chrome on your phone, Opera, or on your computer. And your website is the content of your website. If I go to, um, let me open a, a web page, um, a browser. If I just do www.facebook.com. Place. Because my computer is connected to the internet, my browser. Hello, yeah. Request to the server where Facebook.com is hosted, and when the server receives the message, it checks through its archive and say, "Okay, this person is looking for Facebook.com." So it goes and presents and also a HTTP response which contains the web content and returns it to the browser. And this is only possible because there is internet. 
if I'm offline now and I press facebook.com, you know I'm not going to see anything. Okay, basically, that's how web works. But it's really deep, deeper than that. But I don't want to bore you with all of that. So what are we going to learn? At the end of this training, we're going to create two websites together. One simple website and one similarly complex website. So I'm not going to tell you which of, the, which of them is complex or simple. But by the time we start doing it, you realize which, the one that is complex or simple. So I'm going to create a website for a restaurant called Fresh and Local. And we're going to create a website for a professional cleaning service. So whatever business you're doing, following this any of the two models and being and personally being creative, you'll be able to tweak everything I do to give to create for yourself a very fantastic website. So let's see the website we'll be creating, the finished job. Then we're gonna do it together. The first one is um is this. We'll be creating this together. Yeah, yeah, get this. We'll be creating this together. We'll be creating this together on a step by step basis. The testimonial page. the blog page and the contact page also we'll be creating these also together this website I know you're probably gonna like this um, the pricing page this seems to be more nice no worries we're going to do all together um, the about page the contact page so stay tuned we're going to be working on all of these things together so See you in the next video. Stay focused and learn fast. Thank you. Welcome to the lesson one of this training, WordPress for Business. In lesson one, we'll be looking at how to determine a good domain name, how to identify a good hosting provider, how to install WordPress on your domain name, optimize WordPress setting for business, upgrade to business team and the six essential pages you must create for a business website so let's get started so the first thing is how to determine good domain name now this is very important you know I told you earlier we're creating a website for a food business that provide organic delicious food to their customers so we're gonna do it together and you can follow as I'm doing it. Before you know it, by the time we're done with this training, we must have created two different websites together. Now, to determine a good domain name, most people are more familiar with .com and .org. So it's better you pick a .com or a .org domain. And make sure that your domain name speaks about your business. It has to be generic, okay? No, oh, no, sorry, it has to be very specific, okay? Then it has to be short. When it's short, it's easy for people to remember it. Why do people remember Facebook.com, Google.com? Because it's short, okay? If you have a long, if your business name is fresh and local um, dishes, and if it's a long name, you have to make it short for your domain name. Then it has to be easy spelled, easy typed, easy pronounced. And please don't put any number, don't put iPhone as your web address. And make sure that the keywords of your web domain, the domain name are words that will appear on your website. And also think long term and short term. What it means is, okay, in the future, do I still want to bear this name? Because in the future, it will be difficult if you already have a lot of customers 
that, that knows your website, it will be very difficult to change your domain name. Because if you change your domain name, it will be difficult to capture those customers again. And you have a tool that can help you with name search. So I will go to... Now, what we're going to do now is to buy a domain for the website I'm creating, which is fresh and local. Okay? And like I told you, fresh and local provide organic food dishes to their customers so i'll be going to buy a domain now so just join me as i do so i'll be going to okay now i'll be going to word um, smewebhost.com now the reason why i chose this hosting service is because apart from the fact that this hosting service is owned by us that means you have access to huge support okay apart from that fact we we have a partnership our data center is in the US so there's no downtime we have about 99.9 .9 uptime so let's go into getting the domain name so I'm going to I, I clicked on the domain tab now you're able to search different domain names. So the name of the company is Fresh and Local. So I want to have a domain called Cooked Cooked Fresh. Now that is so simple. So I want my customers to be able to remember. Okay, we cook fresh food. Okay, let's search if that domain name is available. So the system search across the world to see if nobody else is using that domain name. Okay, uh, let's wait for it in about a few minutes. Oh, unfortunately, cookfresh.com is not available. But we have um, cookfresh.org available, .net available, .info available, .africa available. So, um, but that's not what we want. That's not what we want. So we want a dot com. So I'm going to change this to served fresh. Maybe it's going to be available. Now it's equally not available. So I'm going to have cooked local cooked cooked fresh. I'm sure this is going to be available because I've tried, I've tested it before. So the next thing I need to do is to add to cart and buy that domain. I'm going to buy the domain in the next video. I also want to say this. On the platform, we accept payment in Naira, in Nigerian Naira and in dollars. So if you're in Nigeria or, or you live in Nigeria, you make sure that the currency is on GN, um, NGN. That's the Nigerian currency. So you have the local cook fresh then you see it's about 4,500 but I can if I want it in dollars I, I'll just change the currency then I do look cook fresh then I search and I have this okay so um, in the next video I'm going to be buying the domain and the hosting at the same time hi welcome back in the previous video, I showed you how to buy your domain name. Then now I'm going to tell you how to identify a good hosting provider. Now I recommend www.smewebhost.com. Now the vision of SME Web Host is to digitally enable small and medium scale business. So it's a small and medium scale business focused web hosting provider so now if even if you want to use any other one these are the things you need to look out for now the speed of the server their customer service the server uptime examine how host um examine how the host follows environmental friendly procedure then does the hoster have a good website obviously sme web host has a very good responsive fantastic website and check the quality of the support offered if there's a problem. Now, if you have any problem, we'll respond to you as quick as possible. So that means we're even going to guide you through whatever you need to do on the platform. So now what we're going to do, like I 
we were about buying a domain name the other time. So I'm going to buy it now and buy an hosting. I explained earlier in the previous video, your domain name is your web, your web address. Your hosting is a remote server that keeps your website. So what you're going to be doing is you are creating the website. The domain register offers you a domain name, which is the address to your hosting. And you put your website on the web hosting. So let's go buy the hosting service and also buy our domain. And another thing you should look out for is, is the hosting service um, cheap enough? I mean, is it affordable? Because you have to keep paying on a yearly basis. So let's look at let's look at the host, the hosting service provider and their prices. Now, in in dollars, they have uh, we have as low as zero point four, less than a dollar monthly. Okay, this is fantastic, and you can use it to host about a website. And this is good for a small business. That you really don't have so much traffic on your website and this is for startup is about 1.4 1 1.14 dollars per month okay and this is the most popular the corporate about 2.36 um 2.28 dollars per month and you have this and this can host up to two websites and this can host up to three websites and you have on this you have unlimited unmetered disk space so these are very fantastic web hosting service and very fantastic web hosting service. So now let me go back to we're still on SME web host anyway. So now what we do now is to get one of the hosting. But I want to make it very easy for us so that it's gonna be a step by step. So I'm gonna go back to the smewebhost.com. Um, this is what smewebhost.com so I'm going to click on the hosting service now you notice the prices are in Nigeria currency but don't worry if you're not living in Nigeria you could pay in dollars um, it's not that expensive like I told you, the startup is $1.14 um, per month. So let's go for this. Then what I'm going to do, I already have my currency in dollars. So it's going to charge me in dollars. So I'm going to, the, the, the domain that I searched the other time, you know I didn't buy it. So I want to buy it now with the hosting. It's better you buy your domain with the hosting so that by the time you buy, the domain is pointed to your hosting service. So I want to register a new domain. If you have an existing domain, you can come here and say I have an existing domain and you put it and you click on use. But I'm registering a new domain, local cooked fresh. So we're selling local food locally produced food and we cook it fresh for our customers so congratulations localcookedfresh.com is available so the next thing i do is to click continue now clicking continue i already picked my web you remember i already picked the startup um high speed web hosting service so there are other products for uh, for security. You have the SSL, but I'm going to come to all of this later. You have Powerful Web Builder. These are part of the services we offer, but ignore all of that for now. And let's go on to click on continue. Now you have this. Do you want DNS management, ID protector, and email forwarding. What this means is you're able to manage your DNS, but it's not really very important. They're just technical terms. Your know, ID protection is being what it means is your personal information put on the hosting is protected. So we're going to go for that too. 
and then email forwarding you're able to forward your emails they're quite cheap it's a yearly price you see this is 4.1 dollars per year this is 0 0.6 us dollar per year and you have the let's also pick this 0 0.6 us dollar per year it, it's quite cheap so i'll click on continue now i have a total of 32.97 us dollars to pay and it's going to be a yearly fee so i'll click on checkout clicking on checkout i'm going to put my personal information let me do mayakun at my son name so let me use one of my email i put in my email my phone number Let me enlarge this page. Oh, that's not correct. 344478. Okay, the company name. The company name is Fresh and Local. Then the street. Let me just put my office address here in Nigeria. Where in Ibadan. So, no, let me. This your your zip code. Now, if you don't know the zip code of your location, you could just Google it. Let's assume I, I live in Lagos, Nigeria, and I do my postcode. So it gives me Google will advice on the on the postcode for Lagos, Nigeria. Whatever your location is, if we are in Cape Town, South Africa. You can get your postcode so let me go back but i know the postcode of where i am my current location so then the next thing is okay use different contact and all of that so and then i have to create my 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 account password because your Austin service gives you an account so i'm going to put in Okay, this is not good enough. It's just about 50% moderate. But I just want to use something I can remember. But I advise you use uh, a password that is very strong, at least up to 60. So let me add a few more things to that to make it very good. Uh, oh, I can't remember what I wrote there. Let me just do it. Mm -hmm. Let me use what I'm used to. <laughs> okay. Now you see this message. Don't just ignore it. Now you could pay directly with your debit card. I would advise you go for that. So you don't have any issues. You just pay directly. But if you do bank transfer, you can do a bank transfer. You will receive an email that contains your... You receive an email that contains the bank detail but let me pay directly with my um credit card so i'll i'll click on complete order okay now the payment gateway pops up so i put in my payment detail I don't want to write my exact payment <laughs> my exact payment detail so this is just an arbitrary number but let me show you what you should do let me see a MasterCard sample so if there's a MasterCard what is required is this digit on your MasterCard has to be written here whether it's a massacre or a visa card and you have your your expiring date has to be written here so when you do that you're putting your your ccv your ccv on your mastercard is when you turn this mastercard backward you'll be able to view the ccv 
number so um by the time you do that you just click on pay and it will be you will be asked for the password to your card and the amount will be removed from your account now this payment gateway is very secure it's um, provided by paystack paystack is a payment provider payment gateway provider um, they have they are very credible and they are used by very big powerful companies in across Africa and apart from that they have relationship with visa the visa company so they are very good and very secure so all this your card information that you put here are not gonna stay on our website it's gonna be those information are very secure and you can see the website is also very secure so you don't have any issue so the moment you click on that I'm going to go on with the payment so I don't want you to see my card detail that's why I'm not putting it here uh, I, um, I need to be to be security conscious but if you're doing it yourself make sure that you're alone when you're doing this so nobody sees your card detail but you are very secure so see you in the next video thank you hi welcome to the next video now I in the previous video I showed you how to buy your domain name, how to register your domain name, and how to host your website. So you see here, I have one domain hosted. So this is my dashboard. I have one service. The service is my hosting. So if I click on this, if I want to view my hosting service, I see I have this fresh and locals. The service I bought was startup. So I can go back to home. I have my domain on my domain I have the domain name okay I, I got it on the Wednesday March 11 2020 and the next due date for payment is this and it's enabled for auto renew and you have um, your and it's active okay so I'll just show you through this whole screen but the, the important thing that those things, um, what you should know. This is also important, opening the ticket. What it means is if you have any issues and you need support, you could just click on support, type the problem you have, and choose priority high, medium, low, and you pick the service that has a, that is related to it, then you type the problem. So now let me go back to another thing I would like you to know is before we go into installing of our WordPress, let me log out from here and show you how to log in if you want to go into your um, hosting, your web hosting account. So I'm going to do smewebhost.com slash billing slash client sorry client area dot php so yeah I put in my email address okay I have my email address here and I put in my password so I'm able to login back into my account and I can decide that my Chrome server reminds me of my username and my password. So that's cool. So the moment I buy the domain and the hosting, the hosting service provider will send some emails to me. So I'm going to go check my email. Automatically, they're going to send your email. In your email, you'll find information that you will need to access your hosting backend. So now this is emails from web SME web host. So we have the first email, which is just um, to greet you and show you how to access your client area, which I just showed you. It's greeting. So then you have your customer receipts, your customer invoice. 
so you have the invoice attached this is before payment is made you have a customer invoice attached then you have your order confirmation so the moment your orders are confirmed you receive emails these are a couple of emails but these are not the ones we need okay you have a free the, the website gives you the SME web host gives you a free one year site lock okay you have that then you have your payments your invoice payment confirmation this is when you have made payment you receive those email all those emails comes in almost immediately the moment you make payment then you have okay dear I can just a couple of information and these are very essential now this is the major thing that is very important to us this is the new account information now I'm going to go back to that then you're going to receive domain registration confirmation this is to confirm that you registered a domain and tells you your registration date and the period of registration and the amount registered and I forgot to mention this earlier you can get a domain you can get hosting beyond one year let's assume I want to buy an hosting more than a year let's assume I'm buying this and I want to I want I don't want to bother let's assume I have uh, I'm registering a new I'm just doing this we're not gonna buy it I just want to show you something I'm going to cancel the order the moment I try to make it. So I could buy hosting beyond a year. I could buy for three years. Now buying more than a year is cheaper because you pay lesser eventually. So if the hosting is about let's say two thousand naira per year, you're going to eventually buy it around let's say. Um, for three years, you're going to buy it around five thousand. So let me use dollars. If it's about five dollars per year, and you know, for five for three years, it's supposed to be fifteen dollars. You'll be paying about twelve dollars instead of paying fifteen dollars. So if you buy um, your your hosting beyond the year, so um, I don't need this. I'm going to cancel it. So you have your but we actually bought for one year then now the hosting registrar is supported by name chip so you have to confirm you receive an email telling you to confirm your password so you just click here to confirm the password so your password will be um, to confirm your email rather not your password to confirm your email then they just say okay your email your registrant email address successfully verified good so that means it's just to verify for security reasons so now like i said the most important one is the new account information now here you're going to find the hosting package you bought your domain name the price it's a the billing cycle cycle it's annually but i've showed you that you could do um, you could do um, by annual you could do for three years now there's something we call the control panel I'm not going to bore you with the technical the, the technicality about the control panel but I'm going to just go to I'm going to just get you the definition of what the control panel means now your control panel is a web hosting control panel a software that facilitates the management of your web hosting server so that's what the control panel is all about but don't bother with all of those things now you have been given the login detail to your control panel so I'm going to show you how to access your control panel so if you click on this that is your local your www.localcookfresh.com and you put this iPhone just click on this so it takes you to your C panel detail by the time I'm through with this video I'm going to change the password so so uh, I'll just need to copy my password here 
and click on this then it shows me my I'm not gonna save this because I'm still gonna change it so I can come here and change my password but I'm going to show you an overview of what a cPanel is but you really don't need a lot of bunch of information you just need what you need to do and move ahead so this is your cPanel um, but there's some things we'll learn on the cPanel but I'm going to go just straight to the most important thing now I'm able to assess my cPanel from going through this method there's another method by which I can also assess my cPanel so let me go log out from the cPanel so I've logged out and um, from my hosting account I can actually assess my cPanel I'll show you how to log into your hosting account so I have my web host start up here all I just needed is to click that domain name after clicking that domain name if I scroll okay by this side if I click on log in to cPanel it takes me straight to my cPanel now you notice I'm not required to put in my password and my username to access the cPanel it's because I already accessed my hosting account so I can move directly into the C into the C panel so in the next video I'm going to show you how to install WordPress in your C panel see you in the next video thank you I now I'll be showing you how to install WordPress on your hosting server so let's do that right away but before I do that I want to show you Notable complaints with WordPress website. Now you'll find leading complaints in the world using WordPress. That validates the fact that WordPress is a very effective website create um, website design tool okay and that's what you're learning you see BBC America um, tech crush very powerful new and uh, the new New Yorker very powerful complaint very powerful brands big brands across the world use WordPress so and I believe your brand too is big okay so let's go into installing WordPress so you could just do on your C panel, just scroll down and you're going to see this. When you see this app installer, you're going to see WordPress. Okay, there are other um, app installers, there are other softwares, but we have no business with all, the, all those ones. Oh, yeah, you could just search WordPress. Sorry. Oh, the search result is not coming out. Okay. Let's see now. I thought we'll be able to start from them. So, we'll just click on WordPress. So, I want to install WordPress. Now you have these. And let me show you your website before we do the installation. We have local cooked fresh.com you will see it's absolutely empty there's nothing on that website okay so now let me go back let me install the WordPress so it's a simple step just click on install now when you click on install you have um, what version of WordPress just leave it click use the latest version of WordPress your domain is so you just select a domain ignore this make sure this is empty now your site name is fresh and local then your site description um, let me just put fresh it could be the, the tag name of your company so let me just write we cook oh no we serve 
fresh meal okay oh fresh meal served so in your site that's for your site description then you have an admin account so this is the admin account I have let me the username let me retain it as admin the password uh, you could put any password you like so I would like to hide it I won't want you to see my password so I put in the password but it's not good enough okay you have to use a password that is very good so let me use a very long password now that's 90% strong now your admin email WordPress will suggest to you but ignore it so let me use the at the same email I used for my web hosting service then language English I don't need this then you just go down ignore now for our website we're using this um, free team in other videos I'm going to explain to you how teams work so this is what we're looking at using so let's get so let's just select it you have so many other teams but we're selecting that and we might even not use it if we like so then do you want your email installation details to be sent to you so I want it sent to me so my email information is sent to me then I click on install so this is going to take about three to four minutes or even less so in about three less than three to four minutes oh fantastic so now I have congratulations the, the software was installed successfully WordPress has been successfully installed at localcodefresh.com and for administrative we have localcodefresh.com so if I come back here and reload that page you see something different this is really awesome right totally different and it's very nice compared to what we have so and I'll need to assess the back end of my website and I'll just click on that so I have direct access but let me log out so that next time I'm going to show you how to go to your back end so what you just need to do is to your domain name local cooked fresh dot com slash WP dash admin it takes you here so here you have my password my username is admin my password is this then I can click remind me since it's my computer and nobody have access to it apart from me and I can save this so that my browser can always remind me so now I don't have business with the C panel for now and currently I really don't have so much to do with my hosting um, account so I'll log out and I'll close it now this is where I have my business this is the back end of the web of, of, of my WordPress website and this is the front end every changes I make here reflects here okay then another thing we can take note of okay there are a lot of tools here you have the post media page a lot of tools here that allows me to be able to format my website this is my website front end and this is my website back end 
so the first thing I'm going to do is to create a page I want to optimize this website to be able to provide I want to optimize this website so that it could be used as a business website majorly WordPress are seen as um, a blogging for for blog creation but it's also good for business website so I'm going to come to all page pages and click on add new and the first page I'll be creating is my own page okay let me do this in the next video okay thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video hi hello welcome to the last video of lesson one the six essential pages you must create for a business website we have the home page your about page the product or service page the testimonial page blog and your contact page so let's go to our wordpress backend and create those pages so um let me just close this I'm opening a new browser so I have the local cooked fresh dot com slash WP admin I've told you that is how to access your backend so remember my admin was admin my username was admin and have my password I already see it with my on my browser and if I want to view the changes I'm making I can view it with this I just go to visit sites so I have my site here so the first thing I want to do is to create all of those pages the home page about page the product page testimonial page blog and my contact page so the first I'm going to go come to pages on WordPress so I'm going to click on all pages first WordPress comes with two pages that um, they are just preloaded so I, I don't need them so I'm going to move them to trash so I'm going to have an empty I'm going to empty the I have it emptied now so the first thing I want to create is my own page so I click on I just write home page I click on publish and publish so the home page is published I click on add new again publish publish let me call it about us so I can update then I click on add new page the next thing is our product so I'm going to publish it as well and I click on add new to our testimonial oh sorry that is inc incorrect that was our testimonial this is where we put in the testimonies of customers that have tasted our locally cooked fresh meals then I click on add new again I'm going to create a blog page just click on submit I'm going to add new again I'm going to create a contact contact us page now if I come to my front end I'm reloading the front end page now these pages are showing automatically but they are not arranged well this is not what I want okay so I'm going to do a number of settings to make it look the to make it look good okay so the first setting I'm going to do is to come to settings and go to reading if you follow me step by step you'll be able to do all of those things I'm doing now on my setting page 
your own page display i want it to be a static page okay that's when it becomes a website not a blog site so i'm going to make my own page home and my post page blog and blog as it is it's where you put new content on a regular basis for people to learn so i'll click on save so the next thing I'm going to do is to come to after after working with the settings, I come to appearance and I click on menu. Now I have I have menu one created for me automatically. So but I want to arrange this properly. So I want I can this is drag and drop do I have my about I want my product to be next I want testimonial to be next then the blog if I want to have a drop down I'll just do this it becomes a drop down let me see so that you see then what I do is just create menu Sorry, it's not showing. So I'll make it a primary. I'm going to make it a primary menu. You see, that's a drop down now. But I don't want that as a drop down. I want it to. I want it as a standalone. So if I click on save menu. And I reload. I have it this way. I have my own page. About page is empty. Product page is empty. Testimonial is empty. Block page is more or less empty. And my contact page is equally empty. Let me go back to my own page. So I have this okay now let me repeat what i've done here what i did was to create to rearrange my pages then make sure that the primary it's clicked as a primary menu and there's some things if you use them you will discover that none of these pages are are Okay, let me put it this way. What if I decide to create other new pages? How do I add them to my menu? So if I come to, let's say I come to my hard new. I, I created a page and I call it. Uh, let me call it. Outdoor. Um, let me just call it staff okay our team if I want them to see our team and click that so but if I reload here you discover that our team is not included so what I'm going to do is to go to my menu so I can do this it, it's very dynamic click our team and click add menu it's so simple so i can drag it if I, I want it to be a drop down under about i just click this so if i reload my page i have home then i have our team okay then i have now if you notice on the on, on my website you're seeing fresh and local customized and all of this this is what the reason why all of these are showing is because you have your admin um, backhand on if I open another browser where customers are going to see you discover that that part 
this part will not be showing okay but before that before I go to the other browser I would like to remove this I'm not interested in having a theme as a menu on the web 